morning guys and welcome to today today i just went to start the dishes and get them cleaned up and i saw this out my window i saw sam and gabby making the trek i love that i love looking out my window and seeing that finn's like i'm not going So cute. I'm headed down to help with chores. I love cleaning my stall. Look at my neck. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is a swollen muscle, a pulled muscle. And this over here is a pulled muscle. I don't know if you can tell. But my neck is like a lot wider than normal. Anyway, yeah, that is the extent of my injuries. I basically, my headache is pretty much gone. It gets worse during the day if I do too much. And but I easily managed yesterday, I had a nap and <sighs> huge ant. Anyways, um, yeah, yesterday I had a huge nap in the afternoon and it really helped except for that um, when I rest or lay down, my neck gets more stiff. So that's what I'm dealing with is whiplash. Who knew why that horse could give me whiplash without even me being on the horse. But anyway, let's get these dishes started and then we're gonna go down and buck our stall. It's dark and dreary and rainy today again. And boys are in their great uh, grass field, but we don't leave them out there, especially on a hill in deep grass because of the slope in the rain. It gets slippery, but they're out there for now. Once it starts to really rain, we'll put them back with the girls. Our horses are amalgamated, you guys. Like, they are together now, always. Like, they can be together always, and they don't do anything. <laughs> I see them up there. What if the world had more of your smile? Got my chairs. I'm going to fix that up, though. Sam just put them there. I'm going to get an umbrella. I also have some place to put the cushions. Wait till my neck heals though. Got Macy on the go. She ran out the door as I was leaving, so I figured she needed to come with us. She's smaller than a bunny. Come on. She's the size of a squirrel. This mud is slippery. What if the wind could spread your love? Look at the halter that Tough One sent us, the company Tough it's One. It's not big on them, it looks... Yeah, nice. it's so cute, it says I love my mini in sparkly silver and it's purple. And the thing that we love about it, we've been looking for a mini halter that has a clip. So you just clip it. Clip it on. Our other halters are like this kind, you have to tie it. You fit it to, halt, no. you fit it to her today? Or you have to use the... It's this part. Yeah. Instead of this part. I've yeah. already fitted it. Yeah. I love our little arena. You guys, I love this place and the things that we can do in here. It looks so good on her though. It looks like a normal halter. Does it? Instead of just being like huge. It's adorable. One of the things I like about the company Top One is they have all the stuff. They have, it's a one-stop shop for equestrians. They have blankets. They have saddles. They have saddle pads. They have all the little things that you need. She's so good now. <laughs> yeah, you just caught her. Like it looks terrible, but they're being very gentle. They just wrap their arms around her when they catch her like a, like a lead rope. Their arms are a lead rope. Yes. She didn't even move when I caught her. Oh, uh, it is freaking adorable. As in? Yeah. Well. It's adorable. That's perfect. Brooklyn's going to love it. It's easier for her this to work. This looks really tight on her now, but trust me, it's not. like. Can you adjust it? Yes, but her head's just Oh, oh look, it's crooked. Fix the... Stella's like, get away from my mini. It's a rainy day and they're Stop. feeling it. Go. So also I wanted to show you guys. You guys know that we've been battling Stella's weight and also her crest. She's been like... Oh, crampy. She goes like, woo, woo. woo. Well, Stella, don't take... Listen, oh. I cannot handle any more injuries today. Oh, she's an uphill mini now. She's an uphill... That halter made her an uphill mini. Look at her go. Looking cute. Cute. Yeah. 
So anyways, with Stella, we've been battling her crest. So basically, we've been battling her weight, and her weight has gotten down. Our vet is very happy. He doesn't want her to lose any weight. He doesn't want her to gain any weight. He wants us to exercise her. And uh, we've been battling like a, 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 a fatty crest here. And um, I said to Fiona yesterday, she hadn't seen her in a while, and I said, look at Stella. I feel like her crest is the smallest it's ever been. And uh, Fiona said that she's never seen her crest so small before. Like, she pretty much doesn't even have a crest now. She's not, well, just a tiny, tiny bit, I see. But yeah, we did that, you guys. Like, we did that. That, that, we did that. I did that, actually. I did that, and, and it was a, so much stress, so much stress, but we got there. If I've learned anything with horses, I've learned that time heals all, and you just have to take the time and be patient and wait. And I worry. I worry, wait, and watch. That's what I do. Macy. That's Macy in our arena, you guys. Macy yeah, versus Willow. So, guys, I made edible cookie dough, like raw edible cookie dough, following something that, like, following a video I found online. And it actually worked. It was so runny, so I just stuck it in the fridge, like it says. I left it for a couple of minutes. It was like cookie dough so yummy yes and it has so much chocolate chips if you take a bite out of it you get like a thousand chocolate chips this is not my saddle bag but this is how it's gonna oh. go and it ties on there too right oh i mm -hmm. like it a lot i'm not sure how to fully attach it but like wow oh, look, it is velcro. gorgeous it's velcro so you can like tie it around well we will figure out how to tie it professionally i love it though i know but you could tie it around the we are on the hunt for more western saddles i noticed that the girls have their little sets look we got like a set a face brush so, and a tail brush a face brush man and tail brush face brush man and, tail and what's brush. really cool about it though is that and i got my own set too yeah brooklyn and willow get one which i just used on willow today and a mane and tail brush, which I use. I'm yeah, to Brooklyn's gonna die. Look, Stella. Look at that. You know that hair at the top of their head? I know. Storm only sheds white hair when I brush his face. And Fiona gone. says that these things are so good at getting all that little tiny bit of hair off, and it feels amazing for them. Oh God, Willow just tried to eat this stuff hanging out of Stella's mouth. <laughs> She's like, thanks, Mom, for a nice brush. Oh, she loves it. It is cold, you guys. Freezing. Last summer, the girls and I all got one of these ja jackets from Costco. I got purple, and Sophie got pink, and Gabby got blue. And Gabby doesn't wear hers, and mine's too big, so we switched them around, and Sophie's gonna have blue now for her gelding, and I'm gonna have pink for Stella, and yeah. So that's the story of her jackets. Anyway. Uh, it's freezing cold outside, like freezing. Sam and I are headed into town because uh, we're going to a birthday party. We're both going to birthday parties tomorrow, separate birthday parties. And um, we're just gonna give money. So we're going in to buy into town to get a card and then we're gonna go back and we are gonna do the first installment of the day by day horse love video. You guys will know what I'm talking about when we get back. So we're exploring our new area where we live and we're in this really tiny little town. We're hitting the dollar store to get a card. We always go cheap with our cards. Look at how cute this little building is. Isn't it so cute? Oh, it's big in here. So I'm going to a birthday party. Sam's going to his grandpa to his father's birthday party and the girls and I are going to my nephew's birthday party. Harry Father's Day. Harry Father's Day. I think chance is five. Have a super first fifth birthday. Hopefully he is five. Yeah, the cards are cute here actually. Nice the advantage of exercising every day is you die healthier. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm gonna check out this store because you never know when you're gonna find an amazing equestrian product at the dollar store. We just shot the most fun challenge. It is already up on our channel. It was a horse chooses its owner challenge. So super fun. Excited for you guys to watch. My horse is not gonna choose yeah. like me, but then he ended up basically, basically the smartest horse in this herd is Storm. And Willow. He 
he chooses his mom, no matter where she is, in that corner or in that corner. Yeah, that was pretty predictable results, to be honest. All right, so the boys are going back to eat grass. The only one to touch him for like a year was me. Mom, can you stay down here because I want to see Yeah. Yeah, 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 you guys can come. Gabby wants to ride. I'm gonna give the horses some lunch. I essentially have to hide our treats because the girls use them. Sophie uses them. They'll never find them. Welcome to the daily allotment of Laura reads her book while the girls play with their ponies. Boys are eating gra are out on the grass still and the girls are working with their ponies. Oh, she's such a cutie. What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope And Stella stands there waiting for her owner, no not her owner, her lazy rider to hurry up. I always tell them to make sure that they have all their tack ready before they bring their horses over, but they never do. By my saddle? That is dangerous for that saddle. You're going to break the tree. Okay. I don't even know why it got to the point where the girls tack up over here. It's just bright and light in here instead of tacking up in the cross ties. There's a lot of room, but there's no place to hang your saddle. Look, you can hang your saddle over that gate. Sophie's got this really going on. You fill my head with roses. I can't help but dream away. Standing on a field with you. You guys have taught that little mare so much. Yeah, she's going to be. She's going to be. She's going to be. She's going to be. One, she, all she needs to do is just sit there and field. I'm going to try and get um, a Brooklyn into a little lead line competition at the show. I think that she would love it with I'm Willow. Going. You know that time when you have kids at home and they're little and you just like sit up the backyard for them and you make it all pretty and put all the toys out there and then you sit under the tree and you read your book while they play. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm still doing that with my kids even though they're 12 and 9. Except for that they're playing with their toys that are actual horses and I'm just chilling. I swear to God that when Gabby was getting Stella ready to go, she looked so bright eyed and excited. Not buggy eyed and nervous. She is. Like, she's excited to go. Do you want to go for a trail ride? Are, are you going to just take her or are you going to take another horse? Willow. All right, I agree. Let's take Willow because she needs to go places too. All right, let's do it. Do you guys remember when it was winter and we could do nothing with our horses and we just moved here and we wanted to like do stuff with them so we took them for trail rides out in the snow down the road like just little walks. We're going to do it again. We have a lot of really fun things planned but we have to wait for the weather. We're still waiting for the weather. Usually by July this place is like steaming but yeah not yet. Remember the goal that Gabby had, the goal that we have is to make Stella beginner safe. This is Gabby's job. She is teaching her to be calm and relaxed. But she's actually mine, so. Yeah, she's, she's actually Gabby's like. One thing we learned was to never trot her or canter her until she gets calm. Because a crazy trot will turn into a crazy canter and that's how you break pelvises. She's like canter? She knows it's coming. Right. So this is the first time that Gabby's going to canter her over poles. Where are the poles? Over there? Look at that, you guys. Look at how nice that is. A star with your name. One thing I know is that there should be. There is no one who has a heart. Oh, like
like I said earlier, we've been battling her crest. And the sign, like, oh, she, she muted her. But still, nice and slow. Like, I, I could canter that. And she yeah. seems more balanced. This, whoops, it's over there. It's a lot balanced. We just need to work on. Does she seem more balanced than she did before? Yeah, because she's not rushing as much. Gabby's going to canter the other way now, over the she poles. Like, she's a little jumpy. She's like a dream. Yeah, she's a smart girl. She's not dumb. As pure, no, not like yours. Stella is she canters her for a small amount and then stops and canters and stops and it's because then it teaches her she never knows when to expect the canter and she gets her in trouble. She, yeah, if she doesn't listen to Gabby, Gabby like puts her in a circle and says like this is it. You've listened to me and Stella listens to her. This is what happens when you walk through the hay field. <laughs> that moment when you lose your horse through the through the hay. Oh my gosh. You guys remember when we walked through here not that long ago? Now it's like, there better not be snakes. My gosh. I lost Gabby. Look, there's a path. There's a path over here. <laughs> What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. take Stella out for a trail ride without another horse and she wouldn't even look back. Uh, she would be when like, we point oh, Stella in the direction of going on a trail, she would her down there, she would gallop she, all the way. Yeah, she doesn't she even look back. She, I mean, she looks forward to it and Willow, Willow, Willow's so excited when I talk. She has her ears perked for her and she's like, let's go. So Get remember in the winter when we used to take her for trail rides? It's nothing like now. She for sure used to be stressed out about it. Now, now she's, she's like, just so much okay. calmer. Can, can I have a piece of grass? Yeah, okay. all right, are we gonna keep going? Nice walk, or are we going back? We're going to the bridge. Going to the bridge, all right, let's go. today's video but before we close out today's video um, I wanted to tell you guys about an, another article I helped I contributed to on horserookie.com teamed up with some other fellow equestrian vloggers and shared our experience uh, with online bullying online equestrian bullying specifically because I feel like online bullying bullying reaches a whole new level in the equestrian community so mm -hmm. I did um, share my experiences um, with other YouTubers on, in this article on horserookie.com. 
It is horserookie.com backslash, backslash bullying. And it is such a good article. It tells you exactly how you should handle online bullying and what it actually is. And at the very end of the article is our section that we talked about. That I talked about how the experience that we had with bullying. So you guys should check it out. Put the link in the description below so that you guys can read it. It is such a good article. And that is it for today's video. We'll see you guys tomorrow. to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.